Hello and welcome to the Intuitive Messenger channel. I am Mitchell and I have a co-host today. His name is Bartolomeo. He's going to pop up any moment now. But uh, thank you. For, there he is. Thank you for listening and tuning in to the Intuitive Messenger channel and getting your energy forecast for today, which is Thursday, August the 15th. <laughs> August the 15th, 2013. And you guys, that is Bartolomeo. He often comes and sits next to me and talks to me and wants to get in my lap, but I, I try to stay focused and do the videos. But uh, he is still right here on the, on the desk. Um, but I thought I'd let him join in today. So today is the number 15. That number is um, the death card in the deck, and that is often about ending things, which often brings about new beginnings. It's also the lover's card, which is about relationship, destiny moments with people. Um, that you are looking for. So um, <laughs> I feel like I'm in a Dr. Seuss episode. And also the, all the numbers added up, 8, 15, 20, 13 is the is number 20, which is, I have no problem doing this. I hope y'all don't mind today. I know most of your animal lovers. He's wondering who I'm talking to, which uh, the number 20 is our um, judgment card, which is again, being freed from things, kind of like the death card, the ending and kind of releasing from the body, from the grave, um, moving on to something better. It's also the number two, which is a high priestess, very intuitive card. So, um, Bart, you doing all right? So I wanted to just talk a little bit about um, like being good to yourself and, and scheduling and honoring your downtime. And the way I like to do things is with my own personal experience. Um, so, you know, I, I love, love, love what I do. I love more and more working with the animals and and in and also with the humans because that goes mm -hmm. along with it. But um, you know, some of you know it, some of you don't. And I talk about it freely. And this is not this is this is an example by no means. Um, uh, gosh, what's the word I'm looking for? Not chastisement. Um, and just understanding how I work and operate. Um, but I have a, a full time career, so pretty much Monday through Friday roughly nine to six, um, depending on my schedule, very flexible and I'm very autonomous and I'm grateful for the people that I work for and with to be able to do that. But Bart's making his way around. He's way over there, <laughs> over there. Um, but uh, so I have that full-time career that I work at. Um, I am very, um, very, uh, boy, I'm, I'm a loss for like words today. I'm already up in my head. But I'm very conscious about when I'm at that job working that job. I purposely have always taken breaks in the middle of the day. Um, it's coffee is my excuse, but more than anything, what coffee represents to me is a moment. It's my meditation time because it centers me. I've got this warm cup of coffee in front of me and I drink it. I'm not, I'm not addicted or obsessed to it. I've actually backed off quite a bit lately, cutting the sugar back that I put into it, which is kind of fun. And then actually enjoying the taste of coffee, which I always have enjoyed that. So during the day, I might take a break, 12, 1, 2 o'clock, just to get away from my job and, and connect, because then I can come back stronger and finish things up. And I get a lot done. And I'm also getting heated up. So somebody needs healing. Take it. Um, I'm not going to say menopause. Um, I don't, actually, I don't feel it's menopause. I feel like it has something to do with some legs, especially like a right leg. So healing to your right leg, accept it. But anyway, so I take that time, get away, and that's when often I can do a little bit of posting or updating or replying to your emails. Um, if there are quick replies, you know, during the day as I'm, you know, just a moment at work or in my office and, and a, just a, a in between jobs or something, I, I do just a quick one. Um, but uh, again, maintain real focus on that work there. And then when I come home at night, um, I, I am able to do a little bit of work there, but sometimes I have the blog talk radio show, or I have a client scheduled, and then I also honor my time with my partner, with Fabian. Um, he and I are both very, very busy. He has a full-time job, then he does his pottery nights and weekends, so we both have like a job and a half, if not two full jobs, but we both love doing what we do, and it works really well for us and our relationship. And, uh, and then he works a lot of Saturdays and Sundays, so I try to schedule my appointments on the weekend during the times that he is working. So um, uh, I'm not here in the office while he's sitting out there or, you know, wanting to do something with me. So 
just like I said, I say it plus every morning I get up and do this. And this takes me probably about 45 minutes because I meditate before. I post this. I have to process it, which it takes almost the same amount of time to do it as it does to process it. Put it online, do my daily post, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I say all that because um, a, I want you to know kind of how I work because I share a lot about my personal life, and b, I want you to honor yourself. Find ways for you to um, have your downtime, manage your family, relationship time. Um, I know many of you probably are doing two to three jobs as well. So find that time and manage it well. So all that being said, there's your lesson. Let me pull a quick card. I am really starting to heat up. So please take the, take the healing. And it is Page of Coins. So this is Page of Coins. I, the star card was on the bottom. I like that. So this is Page of Coins. Often our page can be about babies and children or births and things happening. Coins is very feminine, and this is our only true girl that we know of. There's um, the page of cups is a little androgynous, so we're really not sure if it's a boy or a girl. It doesn't matter. It's still feminine energy coming off of there. But um, so our page of coins here, uh, news, good news. You know, all news is good. It's just how we react to it. <laughs> Ending of a job could be good news because you've been calling for a change. And many of you do that and don't realize that's what just happened when you get finally get fired. It's because you wouldn't get up off your butt and go find the job that you really want that makes you happy. So the universe finally heard all your woes and complaints and felt the feelings that you wanted to have and said, well, then let me give it to you. Here it is. Go find something better. Because it's usually after that that you finally go, wow, if I'd never been fired from that or that relation hadn't ended, I wouldn't have been able to move on. So um, the news, it comes. We turn it into a positive and move us forward. So today, um, I don't know. I'm not getting anything very clear about this card today. I'm hearing frolic and play like a child. So today, frolic and play like a child. Very interesting. So that really is about it. And sometimes I just don't get much more than that, and that's fine with me. So it was a good lesson in the beginning about honoring your time, taking the downtime. Uh, so made some other decisions too. Uh, like I said, I've got my virtual lab next week, Tuesday night. We're going to be doing um, the first of the Mary Kay Greer book, 21 Ways to Read a Tarot. You can join us live or by the recording. Then the one after that, I've had so many people ask about it, but it will be a virtual lab on animal communication. So it will be a really, really cool night. Um, to do that. And I also just heard that that week long, I will bring up each of the animals um, in the vi in my YouTube video here um, and just kind of introduce, reintroduce them to you and talk about what I've learned from them, how they've grown and the lessons and things like that. So it'll be kind of fun. By then, Tiffany should be here. We're picking her up on Monday. So Sunday night, no cosmic caffeine. All the staff will be at uh, Talia's uh, memorial service. You can watch that live on YouTube. Just check all our Facebook pages that Sunday afternoon, early evening. I believe it's 7 to 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So all that being said, I say to you, namaste. And to those of you who like hearing me say it, namaste to you bitches. So have a wonderful, wonderful day, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow.